Hello everyone. Today we will see the type of nutrition in earthworm. The earthworms are detrivorous means which feed on a dead organic material like soil and the dead grass leaves, algae, fungi, bacteria, animal dropping, etc. They ingest the food digest it and the undigested material is thrown in the form of the circular pallet and that pallet are rich in nitrogen and that's why the farmer used it as a organic fertilizer. One interesting thing about the earthworm is that the earthworm is called as a friend of the farmers because from the earthworm the farmers get the organic fertilizer also it uh, make the soil of the earth uh, make the soil aerated and that's why it is called as a friend of the farmer the next part is the digestive system of the earthworm the digestive system of the earthworm is a long straight tubular and run from first segment to the last segments. The digestive system of the earthworm consists of mouth, buccal cavity, pharynx, oesophagus, gizzard, stomach and intestine and the last part is the anus. The mouth is located at the first segments which is a circular crecentric called as a prostomium which is overhang by a part that part is called as a peristomium the mouth lead into the buccal cavity the buccal cavity is located into the second to third segment and which hold food during the ingestion and which open into the muscular pharynx the next point is the pharynx. The pharynx is a thin wall, pear shaped at the anterior end which having the nerve ring. The pharynx is located from 4 to 6 segments. The pharynx is dorsoventrally compressed due to the presence of the glandular cell mass and that glandular cell having the chromophyll cells that chromophyll cells secrete the mucin and the proteolytic enzyme the mucin lubricate the food while the proteolytic enzyme digests the protein the lateral wall of the pharynx push inside and from the horizontal shelf thus the pharyngeal cavity is divided into the salivary chamber and the ventral chamber. The pharynx lead into the narrow tube that is nothing but the oesophagus which is located from 6 to 7 segment and which pass the food into the gizzard. The next part is the gizzard. It is an oval, thick, muscular organ which run from 8 to 9 segments which having the circular and the inner lining of the cuticle which help the help to grinding the food. Then the gizzard lead into the stomach. The stomach is a tube-like, highly vascular, highly glandular and which consist of the three pairs of the calciferous gland which located from the segment 10 11 and 12 which is in pair and which secrete the carbonate that neutralize the humic acid the stomach is glandular and that glandular cell also secrete the proteolytic enzyme that digests the protein. Next part is the intestine. 
द इंटेस्टाइन इज अ थिंग लॉन्ग ट्यूब विच रेंजेस फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन टू लास्ट सेगमेंट्स द इंटेस्टाइन इज हाईली वस्कुलर एंड ग्लैंडुलर विच हैविंग द न्यूमरस सिलिया एंड द विलाय विच हेल्प टू एब्सॉर्ब द फूड और विच इंक्रीजेस द रेट ऑफ एब्सॉर्बन द इंटेस्टाइन इज डिवाइडेड इन टू द थ्री पार्ट्स दैट इज द प्री टिफ्लोसोलर पार्ट टिफ्लोसोलर पार्ट एंड द पोस्ट टिफ्लोसोलर पार्ट द प्री टिफ्लोसोलर पार्ट इज रन फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स सेगमेंट्स विच हैविंग द न्यूमरस विलाय एंड इन दिस पार्ट द अमाइलेज इज सिक्रीटेड एंड दैट अमाइले अमाइलेज डाइजेस्ट द कार्बोहाइड्रेट अ पेयर ऑफ कोनिकल इंटेस्टिनल कीका इज फाउंड एट द ट्वेंटी सिक्स सेगमेंट्स द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज द टिफ्लोसोलर रीजन द टिफ्लोसोलर रीजन इज फाउंड फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी सिक्स टू लास्ट ट्वेंटी थर्ड टू ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ सेगमेंट्स इन दिस रीजन द रेट ऑफ एब्सॉर्बन इंक्रीजेस इट इज ऑल्सो मोर वस्पुलर एंड ग्लैंडुलर which lead into the post tiflosolar region which run from last 25 to 23rd segments and which is open into the anus this part carries the undigested material in the form of the circular granules that is called as a circular pellets and which lead into the anus the anus is nothing but the circular opening which is found at the last segments and which release the undigested material in the form of the worm cast the next part is the physiology of digestion during digestion the food come into the pharynx through the buccal chamber the dorsal chamber of the pharynx having the pharyngeal gland and that pharyngeal gland having the chromophyll cell that secrete the mucin and the protease the mucin lubricate the food while the protease digest the protein then the food passes into oesophagus and from oesophagus passes into the gizzard in a gizzard the circular cell or circular muscles and the inner lining of the thick cuticle grind that food and grind and crushing the food then that come into the stomach in stomach there is a calciferous gland and that calciferous gland neutralize the humic acid which is present in that food then from stomach it come into the intestine and intestine is the principal site of the digestion the most of the digestion is taking place most of the digestion and the absorption taking place in the intestine the glandular cell of the intestine secrete the many digestive juice like a pepsin trypsin amylase lipase and the cellulase the protein is converted into the protease or peptones by the enzyme pepsin then the protease and peptones converted into the amino acid by the trypsin the starch is converted into the maltose by the amylase enzyme the fat is converted into the glycerol and fatty acid by the lipase enzyme the cellulose is converted into the cellulobiose by the cellulase enzyme then after that the digested material or the digested nutrients is absorbed by the blood capillaries and from blood capillaries it is transferred to the tissue and the undigested material is eliminated through the anus as a worm casting Thank you